I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video, our lesson tutorial, we're going to be making this super cool Rufus Hummingbird art art project design. This super cute Rufus Hummingbird drawing. How cute it is, is this? I just love Rufus Hummingbirds. They're super funny. They're super spunky. They make some crazy sounds, and they're like, they're feisty. Yeah, they're just like these tiny little hummingbirds, and they got some attitude, and I like them. Anyways, so cute. They're really kind of like a red color, and I love them. Uh, so I thought, hey, let's draw them because they're kind of, they kind of just finished migrating to where I am for their nesting season and yeah, at the time of recording this video. So that's like, a lot, I don't know, I don't know, what type of month is it? Oh, it's May! It's May. They're going to, well, they're going to, they just arrive, so they're probably nesting between here and there and then I think they leave in August. Anyways, they're, so they're only around for a little bit of time and they're so cute and it's always a joy when they show up and that's... I'm inspired to draw this Rufus. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna draw Rufus Hummingbird here. And if you're looking for more art making ideas, tutorials and videos, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com. Link in the description of this video. Artastickids.com is where it's your number one hub for making art with kids. Uh, you can find tons of different art ideas for kids there. Um, there's a free form. There is uh, a membership where you can access and stream on demand hundreds of different art lessons and learn how to use all those cool art making mediums. So check it out at artastickids.com and grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're going to be drawing a hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. This one's going to be a Rufus hummingbird. They're very small, very mighty. All right, we're gonna start off with a circle. And in that circle, we're gonna do one more circle. We're gonna color in the dark of this big circle, leaving that small circle nice and white to create a hummingbird eye. All right, we're gonna draw the top of the head. So we'll have some zigzag lines coming up at the top for the top feathers. We'll add some curving ones at the bottom. I'm just trying to think about which way I want the wings. I think I'm going to do them out this way. They kind of go up and down, right, when they're moving. All right, we're going to go out this way. I'll do layer one and some curving lines. And layer two, and layer three, and we'll tuck it in like that. We're going to draw the beak up, and I'm going to be nice and careful and bring my marker back down. Try to make a nice straight line without a ruler. And I'm going to thicken it up ever so lightly, just like that make the bottom of the beak and I'm going to barely touch I'm just going to try to fill in just the bottom half of that beak and then leave the top a little white there like the lights catching it oh yeah there we go and sometimes if you are lucky you can see a little hummingbird tongue come out like that <laughs> it's the weirdest little thing <laughs> I've, I've, I've uh Taking pictures of them when they're sitting on branches. Sometimes you can make friends with them. If you sit there long enough, you feed the same ones over and over again. They always come back every year, even where I am. I have to feed them all the way through the snow and winter because, well, then they're reliant on your feeder. Anyway, long story short, eventually they get to know you. It takes a long, long, long time, but if you build that trust, they'll get to know you. Then you can get really close to them enough to take a picture 
where you can see their little tiny tongue sticking out the top. <laughs> it's so crazy. Imagine how, like, where does their tongue start? I have so many questions. All right, I've added some feathers down here. Now they have these iridescent feathers that sometimes you get to see when they're flying. I think I've got a weird shape going on here. There we go. Okay, I'll add his little body here. Tail feathers going out. And we'll add the other wing. Some little fluffies here for the texture of the feathers. And then maybe we'll do like a flower kind of tucked away in the corner here. That may be this hunger is pollinating. Add some other little flowers here and there in the background to repeat the shape and kind of create a narrative for our drawing. You can draw whatever kind of flowers you want, whatever you imagine in your world, your hummingbird lives. Beautiful. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and color in your beautiful Rufus Hummingbird design. Now they have a lot of red in them, both on their neck, deep and down, their back, especially if they're male. So I'm going to add a little spice on my hummingbird. Showing off some of his feathers.
And once you're done, your lovely hummingbird is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So tag me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.